In the previous lecture, we discussed H and how it works. With our new knowledge, we're now in a better position to understand what is happening here. What this is going to do is going to compile into something like this. It's going to have our div here. We're going to give it a class of tabs, and then inside we're going to have our content, and that's going to be whatever is passed into the slots. In this particular case, if we head over to app, we can see the slot is going to be all of this content in here. So now this H function is a whole lot more readable. We know exactly what is going on. Let's go and have a closer look now at this.slot.default and see what we have in there. We clearly have a bug with our implementation at the moment. We should always be showing all of the tabs. But we only want to show the content relevant to the current tab. At the moment, we're showing all of the content, which is wrong. What we need to do is figure out which content to show and not show the rest. So the first thing we need to do is figure out which uh, elements we'd actually like to render. And we can figure that out from this.slots.default. Let's go ahead and have a little look at that and see what is going on. So I'm just going to jump in here and do this.slots.default and see what happens. If we jump over here into our console and refresh it, hopefully we're going to see something interesting. You can see we now have an array of six elements. And if we have a look in here, they're all very similar. We have six elements because we're passing in six children here. We have three tabs and three content. So, so far everything looks good. If we jump inside of here, we see a whole bunch of properties which are very difficult to read. But if we have a look down the bottom, we can see the name of this, comp this particular component is going to be tab. So we know we're dealing with a tab component in here. What we're going to do is attempt to filter over this.slots.default to find all of the tabs and then all of the contents and separate them. So one way you might do this is something like this. You might use filter and jump in here and do X, and then you can check inside of type and then see if the name is equal to tab. So what I would do here is something like X, dot type dot name is triple equal to tab and this would grab all of the tabs for me let's try it out if i save this off head back here and refresh it you can see we're only getting three objects now and those are all going to be the tabs which is working correctly this however is not ideal we're relying on matching against this string here which is not going to be the most reliable thing especially if you forget to add the name or you have the wrong name in here what we can do is identify a pattern. If we jump down inside of this type here, we can see there is name, props, and render, which is very similar to what we have here. We have props, we have render, and we're passing in the name down here. It turns out what is contained inside of this type key is going to be a reference to whatever component is going to be rendered. What this means is we can actually match directly against that component. So instead of saying the x.type.name, I can just say x.type and see if that is triple equal to tab. This is actually going to be an identical reference to the original object, not a copy. So we're actually able to use the strict equality operator. Let's try it out. If I save this one off, head back and refresh the page, we're getting exactly the same result. We're grabbing all three of those tabs. And what this means is we can go ahead and assign this to a variable called tabs. I want to do something very similar for my content. However, we only want to select one particular piece of content, and that's going to be the one relevant to the current tab that we're rendering. Before we go any further with that, what I'm going to do is update my implementation here and we're going to change what we return. Inside of this tabs div, I only want to return the tabs, not the content. So I'm going to remove this one and pass in my tabs here. If we save this off and we did everything correctly, we should only see the tabs rendered and that's exactly what we expected. So definitely a good place to be. In the next lecture, we're going to have a look at how we can filter over the slots and find the correct content to render.